So let's have a look now at adding some rungs to our ladder. In the previous video, we changed the rung spacing, and you can see the numbers there extending from the bottom of the ladder. So we do actually need to extend our ladder and add some new rungs to that ladder. We're still in the Demo 11 project. We're still in Drawing Demo 20. And what I'm going to do is zoom into this area here. So if I just pan upwards now, you can see there, there's the bottom of the ladder. Now I can extend that at any point. If I click here, you'll see the blue grip there, like so. I can click on that blue grip and just drag that down. So if I drag that down a certain distance, you can see the distance there kicking in in the little blue input box. So I'm going to extend that down. If we went for, say, three, that would probably work. So I'm going to put three inches in there, like so. That extends that one down. I then hit Escape to deselect and do the same with the other part of the ladder here. Click, click on the grip. With the polar tracking switched on, I can drag that down, type in three, and then enter, hit Escape. And then I know that both of those lines are still the same length. Adding a rung is very, very easy. Again, it's on the schematic tab on the ribbon. Edit wires, wire numbers, and it's that same flyout again that we looked at earlier. We click on Add Rung. And I come into the drawing area, and it says Add Rung passing through this location or. Now, you'll notice the or. I've got the down arrow on the dynamic input prompt. I've also got the option down on the command line. It's wire type. So basically, I can change the wire type. Now, I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to add a rung passing through this location here. Now, be careful. Can you see that my object snaps are on? So what I need to do there is actually physically turn that object snap off. So let's turn that endpoint snap off and come back into the drawing. And then I hover like this, and I just click on the line there. And it will place a rung dead on where it finds that location marker, that 908. If I do the same here, click there. Can you see it already lines it in with the location marker for me? It's a very, very clever AutoCAD Electrical. It picks up that piece of text and knows that that's where the rung has got to go. No object snaps needed, you'll notice. Now, what I'm going to do is just hit Escape there or Enter to cancel the command. Come out. Now, we need to tidy up our ladder because we've got rungs where we don't need them. So zoom in real close and make sure that you delete the rungs you don't need. There's no components on them yet, so you can just delete them in this case. So I select the rung, hit the delete key. Now you'll notice the connectors are left behind. That's because the project properties are set to insert that default connector, so make sure that you delete the connectors as well. Now I'm not going to bore you by deleting every single rung on the ladder, but it's just good housekeeping. Get in there, tidy it up, zoom in, I'll just double click to zoom extents on the wheel there on the mouse and make sure that all of them have the appropriate spacing. So all these intermediate rungs and connectors you would just delete to tidy up your ladder in your AutoCAD drawing. 